Hey there, my name is Chris Palmer. In today's website SEO indexing video, I want to share with you five SEO tips for indexing. Now, I'm going to walk you through beginner to end expert tips. So let's not waste any time. But first, I want to share with you this particular URL. If you want to learn more, pay a visit to this URL. With that out of the way, let's go ahead and move into the very first tip, one out of five. And the very first thing that I want to get out on the table is all Oftentimes, SEOs and business owners often see the search results as the index. Now, this is the furthest from the truth. You see, Google, this is from the exact patent that Google has issued. Where their index and the search results are two separate things, They're, but they work together. With that being said, if you take a look here at the patent, Google's going to see a site, crawl a site, index a site, and then it takes it through a filtering system. And if it makes it through the filter, it makes it to the search results. So the first tip that I want to give you that's very, very powerful to understand is the search results are not the index. Google indexes trillions of sites. Just because it's not in the search results doesn't mean Google doesn't know it's there. Same thing with backlinks. A site that's not in the search results still passes power right? Because it made it to the index. Google has counted it. It has, it has given it a value. So with that being said, the next tip is going to be cache dates. Now when buying links or getting links or even looking at your own sites, you want to take a look at a few things. There's two things. So a, when we're buying links, we want to look at this same thing. Or if we want to see what Google really thinks our website's all about, we want to see the cache dates. You see the cache date or how often Google is coming to a site is going to give you a clear indication of how Google values your website. Let me share with you this example. So if I take a look at uh, site colon Chris Palmer marketing, okay? This is just one of the websites that I run and operate dot com. We take a look at this here. Let's just put this in here. HTTPS forward slash forward slash Chris Palmer marketing. Com. Let's go ahead and put a space here. And we can see here that we have inside the search results multiple pages. Now, next to the website that you want to buy a link from or next to a site that you control and you want to see how often you're getting cached. So you'll take a see this these three dots. You click the three dots and then you click the cached. Now, this site, my site's actually blocking it for whatever reason. It's up here at the top. Okay, let's try another example just so I can hammer this home. So let's just come out here and we'll just do, say, uh, indexing. We'll just look up the word indexing. Bear with me here. Just stick with me. What you'll do is you'll click on the three dots. Again, we're checking the cache date. Now, as you can see here, they were just at this website today. And this makes sense. This is the number one result. So, of course, Google values this site. They're sitting at number one. If you take a look at sites that are further out inside of the search results, like let's go over here. Like let's go down to position number... I don't know, 97. So that's him. So Code Academy. Let's take a look at this one. So we'll look at the cache date. And we could see here they were here yesterday. So these sites are actually getting seen quite consistently. But sites that have a lower value are getting crawled less often. Now, we don't know when the last time they were here. But if you have a site that's consistently getting cached and crawled and seen, this site is valuable in Google's eyes. So cache dates, checking the cache date. Hey, are you getting seen? Are you getting viewed? This is a very good sign. So that's how you check that. Let's keep moving on. The next thing that I want to go ahead and give you is the sitemap ping. Now, this is very powerful. We're going to walk through some beginner tips here in a second here, and I'll give you some more tips. But this tip number three is the ping URL, but I'll save that. Let's get into this to the XML sitemap. Now, if you're using WordPress, all right, a lot of business owners are using WordPress because it's very easy. You should have either SEO Press or all-in-one SEO tool plug. It's a plugin. They're SEO tool plugins. So in my opinion, you should have either SEO Press, SEO plugin, all right? That's what I generally will put into a customer site, a client of mine site. It's this one right here, SEO Press. And then if not that one, another one that I really like is all in one SEO plugin pro. All right. Both of these tools are something that I love. I don't have any affiliate links. These are just two good, really great plugins. So with that being said, these tools will help or aid you to create a XML sitemap. Now, if you don't have plugins or you don't like plugins, you can always get a sitemap generator free. 
okay they have free tools out there and here's xml sitemaps here's one from shuro there's a magnitude of them so with that being said these sites these plugins or these sites are going to create an xml sitemap now this is the first order of offense when getting our pages crawled and into the index and then hopefully into the search results so we have to create what is called a sitemap now oftentimes when i run into business owners they'll have 30 sitemaps in here so what i tend to do and what i recommend is before you create your new sitemap or after you've created your sitemap you come in here to the old sitemap you click on it, you come up here to the three dots and you remove the previous sitemaps. Then once you're done, you'll come inside of here, you'll type in your sitemaps.xml or whatever you've named your sitemap and you'll resubmit your sitemap. Once that is done, once you've created your new sitemap and you've submitted it, the next order of business is going to the URL inspection. Whichever brand new page you've created Go to URL inspection and say, hey, Google, I created this page. Go take a look, right? So again, we've called the bot one, two times. The next step is there's one more step here. The next thing that you want to do is you go to the mobile Google checker, right? So we're checking for mobile. Again, we're asking Google to crawl it again. In order for Google to check it, Google has to come to the page, right? So that means it's a crawl. That's the first step of getting indexed is I have to get a crawl. I get it indexed. And then once I'm indexed, do I make it to the search results? You might, right? So again, you'll put that website or the URL into this particular bar. So, so far we've covered search, the search results is not the index then we've talked about the cache dates the importance of cache dates if you're going to buy links or just looking at your own website the next thing is the sitemap ping we're going to get into right now so another advanced tip is this right here if you take a look up here at the url bar we typed in google.com forward slash ping question mark sitemap equals https and what i'm going to do is i'm going to type in chris palmer marketing Dot com. Now, what this is doing is I'm actually submitting a ping to Google. So this is the sitemap notification received. This is a way from your browser to submit your sitemap or pages. And this works phenomenally. So if you just made a small tweak or a small change and you don't want to go through submitting the XML sitemap, doing a mobile crawl, and then doing a URL inspection, just submit through this particular URL. So again, just to make it easy for you, I'll go ahead and put this up on the screen so you have it. This is a very powerful URL that will certainly help you. Google.com ping sitemap equals HTTPS. Now we've talked about the search results, cache date, sitemap ping, sitemap XML submission, mobile URL submission, and I've given you this ping address. I've walked through it all. I've shared with you the importance, what the index is, what cache is, how to get your pages indexed. I gave you beginner tips i gave you expert tips my name's chris palmer if you want to learn more if you want to tone down the energy and learn a little bit more you want me to share with you some tests you want me to help you with your own projects take a look at this site right here i offer a magnitude of different ways that i can help you with that being said i truly appreciate you taking the time to watch today's google seo indexing video and i always look forward to seeing you in the next google seo google seo indexing video. My friend, have a wonderful day. Goodbye.